Man, oh man, where where you where you been hiding? Where where you been hiding? Where you been hiding, man? I just been talking, I ain't hiding. You can. <laughs> Where you been hiding, man? Kitty the trucker in the building, man. I it, it's it's been a hot minute, like like I, I minute, been low key. huh? I thought I've been low key. Man, I had everybody like reaching out to me, like everybody, like where's Kitty? Where's hey lockout? You know that you know that female trucker that you talked to last year, the one that used to come on YouTube and do all the, do all the do all the her 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 her, her vents. Where's she at? I'm like bro, I'm like bro. I don't know. I I I, I said I reached out to you the one time and you said that you had a uh, you you had big things that was uh going on, and uh. And that's it. You you just went underground, like like you. I was, I was gonna post on my channel, but I never did because I just it just I just don't get to it like I used to. It's not <laughs> it's not enough times in the day. But you know, I I still want to get back on my YouTube. It's been a year. I'm, it has been well, over a year since I posted. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I yeah. do want to get back it, to it. it. Is it is 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 it not because you 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 just felt. Uh, burnout from it because you know a lot of a lot of a lot of people that was doing YouTube in the beginning you know that was just doing you know throwing video after video after video and they just uh you know they just felt like I'm I'm done I'm tired that that's how you was well not necessarily burnt out it wasn't necessarily burnt out it's just that I ain't gonna hold you I became a little lazy and I like to edit my videos to a certain standard and the editing does take a minute so i was yeah, just kind of like i don't just want to throw anything out there and you know so i that was that's most of it but i plan on doing better for certain i i do i want to get back on it i keep saying it but i stopped making promises to people mm -hmm. because I, it's like i said i've been promising people for over six months that i'm gonna make another video and i hadn't done it yet so i gotta do better that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, for the people that hasn't uh that 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 do know you, and for you know the new people that's uh that that just came on my, uh came on my channel, introduce yourself and let everybody know where you're from. Uh, well, I'm Kitty the Trucker, and I'm from Georgia. <laughs> Georgia. I started. I started with time, you know. Uh. But now I went and purchased my own truck, so um, I'm oh. out here driving from uh, at least going to a company now. Oh snap! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, wh where are you talking through me from? You you, you talking through? A, you got me on speaker because I'm talking to you from Tennessee. I'm on a low heading home right now. Oh, that's what's up. So okay, okay. So you so you don't have me on your Bluetooth sound like you got me through your speakerphone. No, I have you. I have you on my headset. Oh, okay. Well, no, I don't sound like it's on a headset. It's not not crispy, but it's I, I can still hear you though. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't so have you, you, yeah, I don't have you on uh, speaker. You started with Prime. Well, not, I got my AirPod in. Oh, there you go. You started with you. You started with Prime, and that's where I that's where I've uh, met you from. I I um I uh I caught you in one of your videos when you started uh your Prime journey. And, uh, you know, we talk, right. you know, we talk way back then. Uh, so if you guys want to know a little bit about her backstory, definitely check out her first interview. Was I'm going through the backwoods of Nebraska right now, man. It got me all the way up okay. here in the foothills. <laughs> oh, God. I, 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 uh, I hate driving through Nebraska. Uh, you say you don't want to fuck with Nebraska, huh? Not at all. Nebraska has no scenery. It's just. Flat and brown. <laughs> That's what's up, uh, man. So, Kitty, Kitty, man, you, 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 you was rocking out with Prime. Uh, you, you did, you, you went through the schooling, and you, you, you rocked out with him as a company driver, but you also did a stint as a lease, uh, as a lease driver as well. So no. 
So I started out with Prime in 2019. I got my uh, my permit and, and my license while I was at Prime. I came out the gate uh, as a lease driver for mm-hmm. Prime. Um, I was in I was in training for six months. Uh, if you watch my videos, you'll know. You know, I did six months in training, mm-hmm. and I came out. I got my truck uh, right before the pandemic hit. I went lease mm-hmm. um, March of 2020. Mm-hmm. And I ran with Prime lease for a year. Um, this year of March 2021, I went ahead and purchased my own truck. So I was with, I leased for Prime for a year. Um, uh, went out and financed my truck. And uh, I left Prime. A lot of people, you know, I know people leave Prime for different reasons. Um, but I love Prime. Well, they, hold, I hold, in the game with Prime. Hold, hold, hold that thought. Hold, hold that thought about Prime because I want to, I want to back up for a little bit and talk about your discipline as far as uh, going lease first versus going uh, company first. Uh, your your discipline altogether was to get a truck, and you 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 went lease because. Uh, that was the better way to earn the money to get the truck that you're in right now? Yes, basically. Um, I can manage my own money. So, you know, instead of, you know, I know there's insurance and stuff like that uh, that you get, you know, as a company driving with Tom. But I was more so looking at the dollars. You put, a, you put aside the money for your taxes. Mm-hmm. And if you run right, manage your fuel properly, then you'll definitely make more than a company drive. A lot of people say it's the same, but you're not running right. You're not managing your money right. Um, if you're making the same thing as a as a company driver, so I went the lease route because I know I can manage my money, and that's right. what I did. Um, I put money to the side and up because I knew that my end game was to purchase a truck. Right. So that's why it only took me a year. I grind for a year with Prime mm-hmm. um, with their truck. And that's basically that's how I did it. Now you now what now you said now you said that your experience was prime was was a good one. You they 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 kept you they kept you happy. Issues uh, with prime. Uh-huh. Um, when I went leave, you know, at first, you know, me and my uh, fleet manager, you know, we had to learn each other. He had to learn how I like to mine. You know, it was a little learning curve in the beginning. But, you know, after a while, he knew how I liked to run. He, he rarely had to speak because he knew what I, he knew how I liked to run. So, you know, and I, I was always on time for my lows. I never, you know, did anything. Um, so he didn't trust me out there. So, you, yeah, it, it you, worked fine for me. You just got to have, you got to be mature and have a little discipline. That's all. You, you made yourself, you made yourself valuable to, to your fleet manager which brought up your self worth and your fleet manager, uh, you and your fleet manager got, you know, got a nice camaraderie where you was able to, where you was able to make some money and he was able to keep you running. Right. Exactly. That's, yeah. that's what's up. All there right. Was times that I took, there were times that there was those that I didn't want to run, but if he needed me to do a favor, so you know what I'm saying? So there were times I took loads that I didn't want to, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, just because it was something that he needed, and he would always look out for me. So you know, oh, he made it sure. Out for me. He made sure those pockets was fat. That's what's up. <laughs> exactly. He made sure that the pockets was fat, so you could hurry up and meet your end game. Uh, of course, you you got your license through Prime, so of course you had right. to, you know, you had to give them the obligations of that of that one year uh, for Prime to pay it off. So. Uh, with that said, after that year, you you went and got your. Did you get your truck after you left Prime, or did you get your truck during so, during the time you was with Prime? Right. So the obligation is a year after you get your license. So um, yeah, I ended up doing a year and a half with Prime because I was in training for six months. So mm-hmm. um, after I got out of training, I only had six more months obligations with them, but I ended up staying a year. Okay. All right, and and you got your you you went on ahead and uh purchased your truck and everything. 
Which route? Which route did you took to 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 get your truck? Um, I went financial truck. That's what I did. Uh, I financial truck back in. It was March. It was a birthday present to myself. Back in March, I didn't get rolling until March. Until like May, though. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you got to do everything. You got to get the, the IRP. You know, everything you got to do to get yourself off the room. So, um, yeah, and uh, that's when I left home. I left home at the end of June. Mm-hmm. No, at the end of July is when um, I, I left home. And I started running for myself in May. So right now, um, I am leased on to a company. I don't have my own authority as of right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's what's up next. I'm working on getting my own authority. All right. So the the company that you that you leased on to is is it like a much more smaller uh, family owned type company, or is it a or is it a another mega company like uh, like Prime? And bonus question. Why didn't you lease on with Prime? Um, so the company that I'm leasing on to now, one of those companies out of Chicago, one of those small companies out of Chicago. Oh, okay. So no, it's not a medical company. And I didn't lease on with Prime because with Prime, to bring a truck in the seat, it has to be within three years. The truck can't be more than three years old. I got a 2016 uh, T680 Kenworth. Mm-hmm. So your truck, I can't bring it in the prime. If I had a newer truck, 2018 or above, then you can. So that's how it works with the with, with prime. The truck has to be within three years when you first um, bring it into the fleet, and it has to stay in the fleet. It'll stay in the fleet, but if you take it off the fleet, you can't bring it back into the fleet. So that's pretty much how it works. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So we're gonna you gotta have... hold on for a second. Lock out. Go you ahead. Hold on for me. Go, go ahead. Take your time. All right, I was a broker. Oh no, you good, you good, you good. So now, so now you rocking out with a company out of Chicago. How 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 has it been? How has it been for you? Uh, you know, you you out there, you you getting your loads, you making you making more money now that you ever seen. How 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 has this been treating you? Oh, it's been good for me. Um. One of the reasons why I, I wanted to get my own truck was because I wanted to go Monday through Friday. So I'm not, I kind of go anywhere, but I'm Monday through Friday. So I kind of stick around the house. So um, I go home every weekend and then I come back out on Monday. Um, it's been good though. Money has been good. Uh, I have no complaints. How do you? Uh, other than it's been cold out here, but. How how do you feel about how do you feel about uh other well n- well not how you feel but what advice do you give uh other women that's in trucking that's interested in moving from from being a company uh driver to owner operator? Best advice you got to do your homework. Uh, I suggest you take these trucks. I suggest you take the mechanic to look at your truck and you get it. Uh, my truck is it, I mean. It's part of the game, but I've sunk already. I've sunk some money into my truck to keep it running. But, you know, the truck comes first. So, you know, it, that's basically what you have to remember. The truck is your number one priority, so nothing else matters, especially when you own it, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, you, you, you can't stand frivolously. You have to kind of just be focused. You know, the money, the money comes fast and it looks good. But, you know, what happens when you sit in there, break, you break down, and you got to repair the truck? Mm-hmm. You got to think about those things. You know, that's that's kind of the best advice I would give anybody coming out here to do this. Uh, if you're moving from company to uh, owning your own truck, you just got to be aware that with, with more money comes more responsibility. Just like Biggie said, more money, more problems, huh? Definitely more money, more problems. <laughs> you know, from the IRT to the to the IFSA, uh fuel tax, like it's it, it's more, but you know you still get hit in the pocket. You just gotta be mindful of that. All right, all right. So what's so what's the best way of uh what's the best way of a person to you know to operate uh to out- owner operate you know, and I'm asking you because you know you're young into it. And you just now, and, and you still, you still yourself, 
is learning everything as well. So how are you uh how how are you, you know, earning, saving, running your, you know, the business the way you want to run it? Um, well, it's kind of, when I first got out here, you know, it's been kind of a choice of how I want to run, you know, if my dispatcher gives me, um, loads that are like two days run, I find that shorter runs about 500 miles or less. I find that those are the better runs, the short miles, high revenue, um, Mm -hmm. and I'm not killing myself. When I first started on my own, I was doing a lot more driving, a lot more miles, and yeah, the money was good, but it wasn't enough for me to be how tired I was. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I kind of uh, got some advice from uh, a friend that told me, like, oh, you got to switch up how you're running and see the difference in the money. And so I did that. And it's not much difference in the money from when I switched up. And now, like this week, uh, I ran very few miles and I made maybe $800 less than I would run if I had been running hard all week. You know, it's just, it's like you said, it's a learning curve. I'm not new, I'm learning. Um, I, for me, as far as saving and money-wise, I make sure I, I cover the bills. Everything else, you know, of course I get myself a little spending money. You know, not much, but a little bit. Um, and everything else goes to the truck. I put every, every penny that I can for the because um, so far... I've had issues. Um, I think I've spent about eleven thousand in in, in truck repair so far. Okay. So, um, but it's been there. You know, I haven't had an issue with it. I don't like spending it, but I had it to do it. You know. So, um, that's basically it. The truck comes first, like I said. Um, so I have a little. I have a little more, but I I, I put money toward my savings, and then you know. The bulk of my money goes to the truck savings account, though. That's what's up. So, Kitty, man, this 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 trucking thing, this this trucking industry is 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 proven that it's it's not a it, it's it's not a it's is is still considered male dominated, but as the years progress, I'm I'm seeing way more females coming up into this in, into this industry uh driving trucks becoming owner operators becoming fleet owners what what do you say what do you say to the guys that's still stuck in the in the 70s 80s 90s way of trucking <laughs> oh boy that's a good one uh it's 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 you gotta move over and, and let us have it you know Things change. It's not. It's not the same trucking industry that it was. And, you know. You know all the steering wheel holder jobs. You know you wanted trucking games to stay uh, in the seventies, but you not expect the trucking world to advance. Because in your regular life, you know the technology has helped. You love technology until it comes to trucking. Then it's a problem. You know. Mm. Uh, you know, they, they want to turn off your GPS and use your mouth the whole way. Like, nobody has time for that. I, I am very much familiar with my map, and when I need it, I'll pull it out. But that's what the GPS is for. Like, you, you want people to stay back in the 70s with trucking, and that makes absolutely no sense. You know, you, you have to you, move out of the way you know, and you, let us through. You you said it perfectly right there. You know, you, you, you like technology. You want technology and everything, but when it comes to trucking, it's a problem. You 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 exactly. want us to still you want us to still be stuck with the with the with the map books, but we got technology now that that we got the GPS, we got the we got the GPS on our apps and stuff like that. But yet, you still want yeah, us I'm to awesome. you know. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What'd you say? And we have automatic trucks now. Like, yeah, automatic. Yeah, exactly. But you want us to, you want us to still uh, drive, you know, the manuals and stuff like that, man. I mean, you you said it perfectly. Uh, Kitty, what's your what's your end game in all of this? Uh, my end game is to make sure that I have 
Um, getting out of this truck, putting somebody in it, and getting another truck, couple trailers, uh, set up the house, and be a dispatcher is what I really, that's really my end game. And as far as my next one <laughs> that I talked about, it, it's still in the plans. But you know, right now I got a grind. You know, that's what's I gotta up. Gotta get there. So. That's what's up. I, 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 and I, and just by talking to you, I see why you haven't, you, you haven't, you, you've been invisible on YouTube because you've been grinding. You know what I'm saying? And as I've been saying, telling people a long time, you know, they be like, oh, you know, we, you know, we, I, I love YouTube and this, that, and the third. But YouTube don't pay you all like that. I mean, if YouTube was paying me was paying me like how the trucking is paying me, then yeah. But, right. you know, YouTube is giving you pennies on top of damn pennies. And, I mean, you really want to get out of the truck for like two, $300 a month versus getting about a grand a week? Man, come on. Get out of here with that. So I, I understand I understand that. But, uh, Kitty, hey, I know you're a busy woman. You're a grinder now. And I appreciate the time that you gave me this morning, man. You know, thank you for always for being a friend of the show. You know what I'm saying? When I reach out to you or something like that and, and we get to talk, we 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 chop it up, man. Thank you very much. No problem. I want to say to all my kids and truckers that I promise you guys I am coming back. Just, you know, give me a second and I'm going to be here with you guys. And I'm going to be getting out. I just gotta get the editing and done and get them out. And um, I do like YouTubing because I do like to show my journey, and so that people can be encouraged and see that you know it's not all the negative things that people say. You know, if you grind hard and you watch the money, then you can make things happen. You know, That's and I saying. haven't been out here long. Yet. I've been out here two years, and, I, and I'm I'm on my brain. You know, that's so, what's up. Know, Congratulations. It's, it's, it's not with Hey, let me Thank ask you. you. Let me ask you this, man. I, I, and I know you. Uh, you know, I know you. You know, you've been busy, and you know, you you didn't put YouTube on a back burner, but you put it on the side. But what about TikTok? You know, there's a growing trucking community on TikTok now. Right? Have you Have you thought about doing some content on that? I have not because I don't even have TikTok. I have enough social media distractions, and I already know TikTok has people stuck. So right now, I don't even have a TikTok just, just to browse. I don't have it at all. I don't want to have anything else to distract me. I have enough. There you go. Instagram, Facebook, and, and you know, that's enough already. So. You say that's enough. That's I'm what's TikTok up. Anytime.